Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a game of Blood Bowl. Um, I'm dead. Alright. Um, okay, he hasn't got much, has he? Depends, see, I guess it depends what he gets with his inducements. He's 6 2 1. But yeah, like compared compared to Blood Bowl 2, Ogres are going to be like streets ahead, aren't they, in Blood Bowl 3? Like they're going to be so much better. So much better. He does take Setek. I thought he might. And he scums all of his money. Call the Anarian police. Disgraceful behaviour. I'll report him. Report him to the Anarian police. No, Anarian won't care. He didn't get a wizard. He didn't get a wizard, so Anarian won't be interested. That's the team, not the coach, uh, Zoom. You've got to do the coach name. Which I didn't catch. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing to swim. They fucking, they, they've buffed. They've buffed like... The kind of... Um, they've buffed kind of stunty players, but also dwarves. The, the kind of... Ruins the kind of point of um, buffing stunties. You know, if they're just going to get killed by the multitude of dwarves. But there you go. Whoa, what? So this undead team has got nearly all of his wins so far this season with this undead team. <laughs> Most of his wins ever are with, are with this undead team. <laughs> That's bizarre, isn't it? That is bizarre. Yeah, and the, and the format looks like it's, you know, you can't say it because you can't say which format's going to be used, but the format that we would expect to be used by pretty much everybody greatly favours them. No, because they've never been able to min maximum, have they? That's the thing, isn't it? Dwarves have never been able to min max and stop other people min maxing at the same time. Whereas now, they min max and stop others min maxing. Yeah, humans, humans look pretty nice in it, I think. Hello, Natario. That was some good dice there, straight off the bat. Ugh. Fucked it. Can 
3D here. so he can't get punched. Thank you, please. Would claim you said it first. Whoa. That's a, that's a tough call. That's a tough call, PC. <laughs> I think we probably both said it at the same time because that was like the first thing I said is that it's all about the format, so yeah. I mean, it is just all about the format, obviously. Um, hello, Tony. No, yeah, he's there, he's there. He nearly died, I'd used the apple, and then I let him get punched, and he got cast, obviously, but didn't die. Yeah, humans got a better thrower, didn't they? They, they kind of, like, they've got guaranteed stats on their catchers. They've got um, like current, yeah, guaranteed stats in the catches. Yeah, exactly, PC. Yeah, it's like it's completely dependent because it's it's such extremes, isn't it? It, it you can make it based on whether they're seasons or how length of seasons or cap. Like they're the three things, aren't they? Whether the seasons are all, how long the seasons are, um, what the figures are, because obviously. The, the game tells you that there's only one possible cap and the game tells you there's only one way to work out your redrafting limit, but there's not, <laughs> because you could obviously change it if you wanted to. So whether the seasons are not, how long the seasons are, how the figures worked out and what the cap is, they're the four variables that decide everything, aren't they? And without knowing all of that, um, like things can be completely different can't they like sometimes you would save for a stat with some players and sometimes you would you would roll all normals with like roll for, for every stat with the same player like both of those are feasible for the same character right what do we do here geophyte to hit with mighty blow don't like that Punching him seems good. Getting the ball away from him seems good. So, let's go there first. Ball safety first. Safe moves first. Good. Fuck me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what a nightmare this is. What an absolute nightmare. Tom 1D him. Can't kind of. That was pretty disappointing. Really would have liked any of the things to have worked. <laughs> um, he's got dodge anyway, so might as well do this block first. Like that was what three chances to free up that guy. And fill them all. No, oh, I need, still need him on him up there anyway.
If I skull, it's terrible, isn't it? So I've just got to stand, like, stand here like a dickhead. <sighs> hello, Skuro. Hello, hello, Ansi. That was disappointing failure to free up a Saurus. A push a push and a really stupid. And if like the first push had been a power, would have freed him, wouldn't it? He's down a man, isn't he? He is down a man. Taking a guard mummy out is nice for the uh for that rookie Saurus, isn't it? It's a nice trade. him to have not been <laughs> stunned. What a fucking turn here. Push everything and then get two Saurus stunned. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! That's not cool. I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. <laughs> right, that stops the break tackle shenanigans, doesn't it? easily. Phew, that was a good turn. Yeah, don't jinx it, Tony. <laughs> good recovery, that, I thought. <laughs> From a nightmare turn of doing nothing and <laughs> getting stunned. Double G are fine, not a problem. <laughs> He's got that tree magnetism, hasn't he? 
Oriel Ensis. <laughs> He's got the tree magnetism. <laughs> yeah, he just really wants this mummy to get smashed by a fucking strength six Saurus. <laughs> He's just gonna uphill. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> I really don't understand what his plan was there. everything a bit shitter, doesn't it? I think I don't even activate the crocs now. And while, yes, this guy does indeed not have block, and the other guy does have block. Um, Tim double sculling would have been real bad, wouldn't it? Whereas now him double sculling isn't so bad. In fact, now I could two deep with the crocs, couldn't I? If this is a double skull. He can get assaulted, and ball can get hit. He can get assaulted anyway. Though, so I've got to make this block. So maybe should have done that. Maybe should, maybe should have made that block first. This is pretty low risk now, isn't it? Bonehead doesn't really matter. Probably shouldn't have pushed him there, but I wanted to be able to free, free the crocs next turn, but then it made that he could just give that block for free. But then he could have just brought this guy in there. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Knock over like six players, do nothing. <laughs> It was a good turn knocking over six players, especially after using the reroll. But um would have been nice to have hurt somebody, wouldn't it? He did base the ball just joy, yeah. <laughs> there was a devastating ball basing. Absolutely devastating ball basing occurred. <laughs> yeah, the cage did seem to confuse him a bit, didn't it? <laughs> Got the ball base, that's all that matters. Actually, having this mighty blow hit free is nice, but it's kind of annoying not being able to hit a ghoul with tackle and mighty blow, isn't it? Want to try and get him loose at some point? I'm on the strength six. 
maybe free up the tackle the next turn. Could move the coal cage around to here. Put a guy there. Put the ball there. Is this all right? Could have put them for a pound in the name, that seems wrong. Got to commit the re-roll then, eh? Because that's safer than a one in nine. Few. Foul ago. Get out of town, Pedro. <laughs> I'm gonna make a foul. <laughs> Crocs has been pretty fucking lazy so far, hasn't he? Move back next turn, then move forward turn seven, score on turn eight. I like this line. <laughs> and I'm not going to say line, it fucking pisses me off too much. I said it for a joke on Dio stream this morning, but I'm not going to fucking say line. I hate line. Hello, Fant Fox. Book, book, book. Yep. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? He has been very well behaved most games, to be fair. Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. He's made a heavy commitment over this side, hasn't he? So it looks like a classic overcommit here from him. Lovely. Classic overcommit. <laughs> he skulls out. Oh, he gets the loner. Dirty Dino. Dirty Dino. It is indeed Imperator Augustus. Yep. It is indeed. Right, so this mighty blow guy can't blitz anybody. Well, he could. One, two. No, he couldn't. Blitz anybody there. So these two both blocking him. He's blocking him. He's going to block him, hasn't he, to clear the way. Fuck me. <laughs> I knew that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> ah. Gotta make a block with block. You can't fear the one in 36, can you? Phew. 
Oh god, this is super annoying now, isn't it? Does he just have to stand up? I think I'm gonna make these blocks. As bad as the as bad as the one in thirty sixes are. Dodge to here. Still got dodge. Smash him into bits. <laughs> yeah, human catches are basically skin clouds, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, bot. Bozzle Yes, this is Ladder, yeah, uh, CCL. Maybe I should make like yeah, well they don't have armor in uh in the real rules. But yes, in they're a lot better in uh in in uh Blood Bowl two than Blood Bowl twenty sixteen or well any form of real Blood Bowl ever. I'll make it a generic title. So everyone knows. Hello Kiwi and general access. Yeah. Yeah, basically. I mean catch isn't very useful, is it? The armor rate is a noticeable difference in Blood Bowl 3 from every other edition of Blood Bowl ever, to be fair. Right, we can surf his mummy, that's funny, isn't it? Whether it's good or not is a different question but it's definitely funny push into there <laughs> I can't not do it. Yeah, but not in Blood Bowl 3 to swim. That's the thing. Not in Blood Bowl 3. They don't. Here. Gotta go for the cheeky wanna. Oh yeah. And now having him exercising his right to lizard tails seems good. He might as well punch him, nothing to lose. Apart from his life, I guess. No, nope, he's alright. Yeah, except now the skink's better at passing, yeah. <laughs> How stupid is that? Stunties have gone from worse than everyone at passing to better than everyone at passing. <laughs> oh, that's sexist, Dave. Man. Despite the fact, all, of all evidence. 
<laughs> that tells you that men are stronger than women. Um, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they're fast and weak. It doesn't really make much sense, does it? Because... I mean, I guess when you think about it, like... If you think of, uh, you know, Messi as a catcher... <laughs> and then... Uh, and then Ray Lewis as a blitzer. There you go. That's true to swim, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're saying ball. I mean, look at look at Terrell Owens and stuff, and Calvin Johnson, right? <laughs> They're still like absolute fucking specimens, despite being catchers. But um, if you've got like, you know, if you think of Mark Overmars <laughs> compared to Ray Lewis, then uh, one of those is well, I guess one is strength four, and one is strength two. Linford Christie was ripped to death. He wasn't like a skeleton. No, federal. Um, okay, we've got a 3D this guy, haven't we? No surf allowed. Uh, four, five, six. Can't make it to seven, and he's got guard anyway. I think it's worth blitzing the ghoul. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't make it. I can make it nine. Three dice against him. He's armor eight. Yeah, okay then. I mean, court doping and doping are two different things, aren't they? <laughs> Boy, mate, I don't take no fucking Let's be honest. You know about Roy. The fuck, mate? Doping and being Roy's court doping are two mate. completely <laughs> different things. They all, do they all dope. As it happened, it didn't matter, Squirrel Dude, thanks to the triple board downs. I mean, maybe the ghoul's better, right? He's armor 7. He's armor 7, can't regen, but Setek's a much better player, isn't he? And could still 3 dice him. <laughs> could only 2 dice the ghoul. Got the 3 dice, uh. Got the 3 dice Setek. That was a pussy re-roll, wasn't it? That was more than 1% effort, to be fair. Don't know why I said Mark Overmars. I meant fucking Romedal. I meant Romedal and said Overmars. Probably Bezel's fault last night for posting the Ajax team. Romadal was like a strength two catcher, wasn't he? He was pretty fast. He's more like a gut runner, I guess, actually. 100% of everyone competing at the highest level of athletics are doping to swim. And if you don't believe that, you're wrong. 100%. They will not be at the highest level if they're not doping. That's just a fact. And yeah, it's only cheating if you get caught, exactly. <laughs> if you believe that, humorous chimp, if you fucking believe that, then... First of all, you're extremely, unbelievably naive. And second of all, you're wrong. <laughs> oh dear. He did famously didn't get caught. 
<laughs> it's not the same as famously not doping. <sighs> fuck me. Any dice to fuck now? Another dead Saurus? Maybe not. I mean, they already do almost, don't they? Like, they almost do, they just try and not get caught. Like, they mostly just don't get caught. They all do it. They just go on cycling, off cycling stuff, don't they? Stuff like that. Take things that don't get, don't get found and stuff. But yeah, it, it seems kind of pointless. <laughs> yeah, PC, yeah. <laughs> Screw up. It's not sexist to say that men are weaker than women. I'm sorry. It's just literal facts. That's not sexist. Casual or otherwise. It's just true. Not as good as athletics. Okay. Unless you can tell me all of the world records that are held by women. <laughs> I'll wait. Did I? Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> I just said the wrong thing. I just misspoke. Alright. <laughs> that's true, just Joe. Yeah, that's true. Serena Williams is very impressive, and she went in after after she had a kid and stuff. Now that's a sexist remark. See that kiwi nutsack attack. That's a sexist remark. That's casual sexism, right? That, I think we can all agree that that shouldn't be said, but it's just a fact that they're not as good at sports. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that doesn't jive with your world view, but it's true. Unless you want to count, like, you know, poker and stuff as sports, which they aren't, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess if you want to count... You can be my wingman anytime. Things like that. Bullshit. Ah. Oh. Cruciferous. Thank you very much. Crucifer should like, uh, should like, what's it called? Broccoli, shouldn't he? <laughs> Being a cruciferous vegetable. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid, Crucifer. <laughs> or Crucif, as he's sometimes known. <laughs> well, the horses do that. Do the work there. <laughs> That's like saying motorsports are a sport. <laughs> With their horsepower. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Christopher, and welcome, Christopher viewers. <laughs> I'd say that you're that that Skuro's the one being sexist to men by claiming they're not <laughs> better at sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women's volleyball. <laughs> Beach volleyball, do you mean? Just chill. Yeah, it's basic biology, right? It's not sexism or anything. It's just literal facts that testosterone exists and does things. <sighs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> oh dear me 
Right. I'm not saying females of every species of <laughs> of of animal are superior <laughs> at physical activities. <laughs> Sexual dimorphism is a thing, isn't there? Some uh, birds aren't they? usually female birds are bigger than male birds and stuff. So if there was like a, a fucking Eagle Olympics or whatever, the women would probably all win it. <laughs> exactly, yeah, they're tiny, aren't they? Male spiders are generally smaller than female spiders, yeah. yeah. They do, yeah. Poor old male spider shits his bolt and gets eaten. <laughs> What a life. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. What about lizards? I wonder if I wonder if all the lizards on the lizard man team are female. <laughs> Maybe. It's going to be roughing it down to nine. Oh yeah, they get they have the spawning pools and that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Warhammer law. They have like, they're birthed in the spawning pools, aren't they? And the old ones and all that kind of shit. They're not really natural, are they? Lizard men in, uh, in, uh, in Warhammer. Magic, probably, the, probably the slam mage priests just go bosh. They say abracadabra. Oh, 12th hit. Will this be the one that kills him? Phew. Orcs are a fungus in Warhammer Fantasy Battle, but not in Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, Pedro, fuck's sake. <sighs> yeah, 40k. Are they not fungus in I thought it was hinted that, that, they were, that they were fungus in Warhammer as well. I thought they kind of... I thought they'd hinted that they changed it in Warhammer. Maybe if they haven't outright said it in Warhammer, I th they've at least hinted that they're the same in Warhammer. I'm pretty certain. They've at least hinted that they're the same in Warhammer. But not when... Um... Oh yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 true. If Orcs were, if orcs were 40k Orcs, <laughs> then there'd be... Then there would be like Grimgor Ironhide. It'd be like about 400 foot haul. 400 foot tall wouldn't he and uh, and would just be laying waste to everything so yeah that's a good point wow it's an interesting strategy he's gone to the space cadet school of ball protection here I mean I don't have a choice there do I really seeing as he's seeing as we're down to nine men already there isn't really a choice about going for this move Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Loving Blood Bowl.
Space, Space Cadet School of Ball Protection paying off in fine style. Oh, fucking hell to swim. Everyone stop being twats, alright? <laughs> Flag. I mean, I'd like to get my stint done before the Blood Bowl starts hard back in case I've got to enter the Blood Bowl. Probably should have moved this guy around here, shouldn't I protect him actually, now that I think about it. I guess he just blitzes him and blocks him, but still. Would have been all right. Because this strength six probably doesn't need didn't need any support back here, especially with a guard there. So he should have probably been there. Ah, but then yeah, if he blocks him, he gets out this way. So maybe he should, actually should have been here. Maybe this guy should have been here, or even up there. Well, you say 50 minutes, I say <laughs> an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this room he's got a higher percentage of his win percentage, hasn't he? He's played more games. Yeah, I should have I should have moved this guy. Maybe this guy up to there. Or here, I think. kind of funny yeah like he that's a number one yeah he's got the full he's got the full uh he's got the full ability hasn't he and i thought about putting him there as well to stop that 1d is knocked down. <laughs> Runs out of time. <laughs> oh boy. I wish I had players free. So I'm one D push him. I think I've got a one day pushing. probably helps him to be fair because now, now the ball isn't stuck on the sideline anymore. <laughs> 
<laughs> but still. Um, oh, I don't know. I'd like it was. It was on the thing about five o'clock or something. It's it's in the it's in the Discord. Sixteen hundred UTC. Got tackler on his on his remaining ghoul. Uh oh, thirteenth hit incoming. Unlucky for some. He's just greeting now. <laughs> Pure frustration. Pure frustration reroll. Lovely. Oh, fuck off, man. Can't really surf half his team, because I really want to get him up. Which is kind of difficult. But I've also got to, like, not lose the game. <laughs> he could blitz, then he'd be basing both of these two. Then he could punch him into him, but then he can't surf him. I don't want to 1D him. To, like, 1D surf him and not get him up. He could blitz him, then I could get a free Saurus. for the uh far away do I <sighs> 
serve nobody. I mean, I could have been greedy, obviously, and like done a one dice block and then a one dice serve, but then he wouldn't have got in, and then this would have could have gone. But like, it could have gone so much better. He could have fucking stood up ever. <laughs> He's just being a tree at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it was a real tough turn, I thought. Because obviously I really wanted him off the sideline. And there was no real way to like do it reliably. Like, there could have been... It was just hard, wasn't it? Just a hard turn. Oh, he's just in a 1D. <laughs> Without block. <laughs> I spent two minutes trying to find the best possible move that I can. <laughs> he just fucking does a 1D without block. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Interesting strategy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know when the Blood Bowl finishes, either. Um, yeah, I would. I don't know how many rounds it is and stuff. Good thing is he hasn't got an expendable player to stick on the tackler. So he can't keep him tied up. Yeah, Dodge has been good, hasn't he? Yeah, so he, see, at least he's on the sticker. Him sticking a mummy out there is kind of fine, isn't it, really? Hmm. Actually, get the fucking crocs in anywhere. No, ge uh, geifying into there would be amazing. Question is, do I 1D blitz the mummy? I can't GFI. Not the way he's born headed. <laughs> Even though it'd be so good. God, got the KO as well. <laughs> what an absolute disgusting looker dog. <laughs> Absolutely fucking disgusting. Maybe I should have done the Crocs at the end of the turn. And then I could have maybe GFI'd. Got to keep these guys on there, haven't I? Just keep them based. Shame to keep the edge four in contact, but there you go. That was great, wasn't it? That was a great turn. <laughs> Mostly thanks to the one day pal. <laughs> but, um. Finally making a removal is nice, and what a removal it was. October the 3rd is uh, apparently what it is. No, 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 Phew. He's in scoring range. 
<laughs> oh yes, that was the GFI. If I'd made it, the crocs would have fallen over. <laughs> No reroll for the dodge away from tackle. Doesn't need it. Oh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So, okay, so we'll block him first. All right. Yes. C'est le genre de situation que j'adore. Quand on laisse le porteur du ballon exposé, faut pas s'étonner de la sanction. Some, I had some great block dice from the skill Lasaurus, to be fair. Do I just foul the ghoul? That seems maybe the best thing to do. He can stay down. He can punch. Uh, one got served. I think the other one just did in reserve. I just rather didn't get punched. Can't see him fouling me. Probably not going to punch me either, is he? Let him get away from the fucking th tail or didn't it? Maybe I should have put him there. But then he could have got away from tackle, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> nah, you can't get movement. So, oh, you could get movement now. Nah, I think I'd go sidestep. That kind of sucked because I knew he was going to catch him. <laughs> but at least he's he can't score on him this turn. And then the the threat of the score should be gone after this turn, shouldn't it? Block would be lovely. Why didn't follow? Got a vanity minus one to the dodge roll. Hey. 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 
<laughs> no jelly deals. Absolutely. Absolutely. Holy fuck, he definitely says holy fuck. Blocked my path, haven't I? If it goes there. Oh, I didn't have to GFI. Oh, whoops. I thought it was. I, I was on the wrong turn there. I thought oh, I only had one turn left after that. Now he's on five. He's the one to score. <laughs> You've just noticed him, Jellio. <laughs> He's alright, isn't he? <laughs> He's alright, Lizard Mole. <laughs> yeah, the skink as well, yeah. Yeah, the skink's pretty disgusting. <laughs> the skink is pretty disgusting. <laughs> and Bolo would love to play against me, wouldn't he? I think block squirrel dude for sure on a double five. Yeah. Boo. Oh yeah, I'd take strength. Got to, haven't you? What's the point of 1% effort if you're not going to take strength? There's 14 blocks. <laughs> Hopeful one. But it still counts. What about... Right, well, he's gonna run back here, isn't he? Here. <laughs> Can he be baited by him? Yes. He's gonna have to go here. So now he can't reach with him. He can only reach with him. so he doesn't die. Can he foul? Yeah, he can. Might as well foul and fuck it. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Get a, get a cheeky foul in with the... Uh, <laughs> with the strength six. <laughs> foul the stun player. School doesn't matter. You can't reach. 
if I foul the ghoul then he might be able to, he can blitz me with mighty blow maybe and yeah I've got, having more assists here may mean there's more chance of breaking armour and therefore more chance of getting sent off <laughs> Yeah, but I don't care about making his team worse, do I? That's just mean, man. Just mean. <laughs> yeah, he's fouling probably just because I fouled. That's a shame. Hope he doesn't kill this guy. In fact, I hope he does the GFI's trips and dies. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? Doesn't kill him. I mean, it was a guaranteed cast, wasn't it? Obviously. Come on, Moradam, you need this Kaz. Yes! Cheeky level. And a cheeky level. Motivation won it, he needed that motivation to get the cars. Brilliant. What a glorious match. <laughs> Please turn the cheats off. Uh, MVP on Tony, it's not too bad, is it? 25? Only 10 AV breaks the entire game, 62 blocks to 40. Always out blocking everybody forever. I want to see what the uh, what the boneheads were. Sixty four percent. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Had worse armor than the opponent. Forty three, forty three, fifty one. Actually, good dice. Embolo uh, does it. Embolo is a guy who always moans about people cheating. Uh, like all the time from beginning to end that could be guard couldn't it oh he hasn't got block yet come on ah lame I think this one's got to be sidestep Pretty sure sidestep for the skink. And uh I mean frenzy's a possibility. Piling on he's never gonna pile on to swim. He's never gonna pile on. Guard's alright. Break tackle wouldn't be terrible, like it gives you something, doesn't it? Like it's really not terrible once you've got other things. Um, it would like you know with only having one tackler it would make it it would make the game against elves a bit safer right anyway that's it not bad thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic